Good morning. I hope everybody's having an absolutely amazing morning or afternoon, wherever you're tuning in from. My name is Stephanie. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. Uh, I'm going to keep this pretty short and sweet, but we're going to dive into this simple conversation. We actually, uh, my great friend Mandy had this great, well, we do a fun, we do a fun Zoom every Sunday night. So we get together as a team and we talk and we coach and we answer questions and and so kind of similar to what I do here, right? But on the business aspect. But anyways, she used these two words that I loved how she coached the team last night. And it was intentions versus expectations. And so that's what I'm going to talk about real quick. But as you're tuning in, where are you tuning in from? How is your morning or afternoon? Where, where are you tuning in from? There's people from all over the world, which I think is incredible. And so I am tuning in from Minnesota, from my office, which is in the car, in a parking lot somewhere in town. Someday I will have the internet working well in my home, but until then it's okay. Guess what? Always being thankful. That would be awesome. Hey, so uh, what are you thankful for today? I think it's super important to start your mind off or mindset wise, right? It's easy to watch the news. It's easy to maybe look at your results as of today. It's easy to listen to other people speak or uh, to get in the dumps, right? To have this anxiousness, especially with, with what's going on in our world. And so the best thing to do is to get your mindset right. What does that look like? reading, right? Listening to podcasts. I listen to worship music as I'm putting my makeup on. I'm constantly listening to things. I will be very real with you and say, I had a rough weekend and my family might not even know that. I think they have a little bit of like, oh yeah, Stephanie wasn't really on, on point because I was watching certain things. I was reading some things that people were posting. Um, I went down a rabbit trail and, and when you do that, right, or you're looking for specific results and you're not meeting them in the expectations that you have, it's easy to get anxious. It's easy to get frustrated. And so I did that. It had nothing to do with health, but everything to do with our world. And so this weekend I was just in a funk. I was just mindset wise. And so this morning we got up and what I want to talk to you about is your intentions intentions versus your expectations, and I'll tell you how I got out of it, right? So your intentions are very much what do you want, your goals, your intentions for your life, right? I intend to get up every morning, and I am getting up at 5 o'clock. I go to the gym. I'm there by 5.30. I work out. Now, if I... My intention is to fuel my mind right and my body right to have a great day, right? My expectation is to have a great day. If I'm not doing the things that are going to get me to my expectations, I'm going to fall short. I'll explain it kind of like this. Your expectations are, raise your hand, raise your hand, give me a heart, I don't know, um, if your expectations are fat loss. So for here on this page, most people are going... My expectation is I want some fat loss. For me, I'm like, I want some big muscles. I joined CrossFit to like get some serious guns, right? My expectation is I'm going to get stronger. My expectation for my mindset usually every single day is, is to have a positive, thankful mindset to be able to teach my children um, who they are, uh, who God is, who is their provider. My expectation, I have really big expectations for myself and my family, right? So you've got these expectations. Anybody on here have like that? Now I have to look back and go, okay, what are the intentions or what are the goals or what are the habits? What are the things I'm doing to create that, to take action into getting me to my results or my expectations, right? We can have all of these goals, all of these expectations, all of these things over here we want to achieve. And if I said, you know what? I want to be stronger. I want to be fitter. I want to be able to be a better runner. I want to have a positive mindset. I want to lead our family by example. I want to uh, just bring peace into our home. Like if I have all of these expectations, then I have to back up and go, what am I doing to get there? 
So what I'm doing or what are my intentions or my habits today and what it has been for the last few weeks is I get up every morning at five. I, um, you want to know what's interesting? I'll tell you this in a second. So I do that. Then we go to the workout with my husband. We do the best that we can. We strive to push ourselves today. I, I ran a little bit further than I normally would have. I came home. We listened to our Bible. I sat in my massage chair. I listened to worship music. I took a shower. I drank my ketones. All of these things are getting me to where I want my day to ultimately be. They're going to eventually get me to my my results or my expectations. Does this make sense? So think about everything that you want and make sure that you're looking at all the habits and the things that you're doing to see if it lines up with you're actually going to meet your results. I think oftentimes we can have a hope or a wish or a dream, but it's taking the action and being intentional every single day. Now, what I said earlier is what? I really was in a downward spiral this entire weekend. I, You want to know why? Which is crazy and it just dawned on me. We didn't work out Saturday or Sunday. We, we treated them as a rest day. We've done yoga in the past, but I didn't get up early. I did not do my normal routine. I probably went to straight to my phone on Saturday and even Sunday. There's certain people that pop up on my feed. If I watch them, it really causes me to be anxious. So my Saturday and Sunday, even when I went to church, even when I listened to a great message, did not start off intentionally, which therefore got my mindset wrong, which therefore caused me to be anxious, which therefore I didn't work out. I felt like I was snappy. I was just in my mind did not go well, right? And so isn't it, isn't it like that? Like, you know, you've got these great expectations, but Maybe you don't get up in the morning. Maybe you hit the alarm. Maybe you, and if you do all of those things, it spirals out of control. You grab the donut because you're in a hurry. Uh, you snap at your kids because you're crabby because you didn't get up to go to the gym, right? And so all of these things, right, whether they're good or bad, will ultimately create the results that you want, good or bad. So I don't know. Just thought that would be something to think about. Are your intentions matching up with the results or the expectations that you want? I think it's, it was powerful. I learned a lesson this week at this weekend um, of things that I should follow, things that I need to do, a reminder of things I need to read in the morning. And so how are you doing with your goals, with your expectations? And honestly, with everything going on, just being thankful for where we're at. So I'd love for you to share this morning. Let's start off Monday. Great. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for this community. I'm thankful for the fact that I have a van, that I can drive into town, that I can find some internet so that I can talk to all of you. I'm thankful that I got to work out today. I'm thankful that we have worship music. I'm thankful for my family. There's so much to be thankful for, right? And so I'd love for you to share what you're thankful for. And that's all I wanted to share. So I hope you have a great day. Continue to tune in. A lot of you have been asking about different things that we're doing right now. We're going through the reboot, or if you're curious on just how to eat, how to start, what does it look like where our family started? I have a great, uh, well, not a great, it's not great. It's just how our family started. I have a little video and a foods list. Um, If you want to know more about the reboot, I'm doing the reboot right now, which is like a 60 hour, it's like a fast or a cleanse, but we say reboot. And so we're going through that. If you want to join us, let me know. Post Reboot below and I can share with you about that. Otherwise, that's it. So continue to tune in. If you're if you're on Instagram, uh, I share our whole day in story form. So you can watch. I think you can watch the stories here on Facebook. But also on Instagram, it's just Keto Mom Secrets. It's all one word. So it's Keto Mom Secrets. Otherwise, let me know if you have any questions. Reach out. We are here to help. And I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing Monday. We'll talk to you soon.